in today class i will discuss about double hashing concept in data structure then what is double hashing the double hashing is a collision resolution technique which is used to resolve the collision then what is the procedure to resolve the collisions by using the double hashing we will see we will see in today class see here that is a collision resolution technique in open addressing there are three methods are there in the open addressing for resolving the collisions the linear probing then quadratic probing and double hash then it deploys the idea of using the second hash function in case of the collision so then what is the meaning of the statement is when collision occurs then we go for the double hash double hash means the hashing again then we can do the two times hashing for resolving the collisions then it uses the hash value which has generated by the first hash function as the starting point then which can generate the one index then in case of collisions then we go for the second hash functions otherwise we don't go for the second hash function then what is the formula for second hash function we see here uh, this is the formula for the second hash function for resolving the collisions the h1 of k plus i is the first collision i value becomes 1 the second collision i value becomes 2 the third collision i value becomes 3 and so on then h2 of k then modulus the table says where the h1 of k and h2 of k are the second hash functions the table says is the hash table says then what is h1 of k then what is h2 of k we will see in the next slide the h1 of k then key modulus table says then h2 of k the p minus k mo modulus p but what is p over here then p is nothing but a prime number that value must be smaller than the size of the hash table then what is meaning of that statement for example the hash table size would be 10 the hash, hash table size would be 10 for example then what is the p value then p value must be less than the 10 okay for example what is the prime number it is a 7 in case of the hash table size would be 20 then what is the prime number would be taken then it is 19 because the p value becomes 9 okay this is the way you take the p value p value is depends on the hash table size it must be smaller than the hash table size then next slide i will show you uh, with the help of the example how you can resolve the collisions by using the double hash uh, see here there the keys has been given as input the 79 28 then 39 68 89 then h of 79 then h of 79 modulus 10 what is the remainder the remainder is 9 it is uh, represented as index then at index 9 then what is the value then value would be what is index 9 it would be free then that's why then 79 would be placed over here 79 okay wait a second i would like to take the pen over here yeah then there is no collisions at index 9 that's why the 79 has been placed then after that 28 then hash of 28 modulus 10 then what is the remainder over here then remainder would be Eight, then eight index location is free. That's why we can able to store that twenty eight at index eight. Then what is the value? Twenty eight. Okay, I will take the separate color for it. Uh, it is not visible properly. Yeah. Then what is at index eight? What would be stored? Then twenty eight. Here seventy nine. Then like that. Uh, because both have been completed the 79 and 28 both have been placed in the hash table without any collisions then i would like to take the another function that is h of 39 h of 39 modulus 10 what is the remainder over here the remainder would be 9 at index line because already some data is occupied then collisions here the collision occurs then that's why we go for the set double hash 
This, this is the double hashing function. This is h1 of 39. I, I value would be 1 for the first collisions. Then h2 of 39, then modulus 10. Here, what is the value we got for the h1 of 39? Then 9, 9 plus 1, the first probe, the 7 is the prime number because what is the hash table size is the hash table size would be 10. Okay, in the problem itself, that's a hash, tab, hash table size will also be given. Okay, I forgot to mention over here. Then hash table size would be 10. That's why the smaller, the prime number must be smaller than the hash table size. What is the hash table prime number have been taken over here? The 7. 7 minus, then key 39 modulus 7. Uh, then remainder, sorry, modulus 10. What is the value we got over here? 9 plus 3, modulus 10. Then 12. 12 modulus 10, what is the remainder we got? 2. At index 2, we check whether it is a free slat or not because there is no collisions at index 2. Then what is the value would be stored at index 2? Then 39. 39 has placed at index 2 because it is free. Then like that, next we, we find the next empty free slat in the hash table. What is the key value has been provided as input? Then 68. Okay, 39 has also been placed. The 79, 28, 39 has been placed in the hash table. What is the next one? Next key value would be 68. Then hash of 68 modulus 10. Then what is the remainder? What is the index location 8? Because at 88, what is the value will be there? The 28. That because it is collisions. Okay. Then at index 8 is also collision occurs. Then we need to reserve the collisions. Then we go for the double hashing. Then see here the double hash function has been used. Hash of 68 plus I value would be 1. H2 of 68 modulus 10. Uh, then here 8 H of hash of 68. The remainder would be 8 plus 1. I value would be 1. 7 minus 68 modulus 7. Then what is the value we got? At index 0 has been generated by this double hashing function. Then we check it once whether it is a free slot, or free, free slot or not. At index 0, it becomes free. Then we can able to store 68 over there. Okay, this is called as the 68 as place. Then the finally, the another key value is there, 89. Then hash of 89. Hash of 89, modulus 10. Then what is the remainder we got? 9. The 9 is represented as index. Because 9, because 9 is already some data is there in previously we inserted. What is the data is there? Because 79, okay, the data is 79 is there at index 79. Then what is the data is there at index 0? That index 0 is there some data. What is the 68? Then like that 2 is also there. 28 maybe what is 239 because sorry one is already free 39 at index 39 then at index to 28 because here 28 then see here at index 9 some already data is occupied then collision occurs then how to resolve the collisions? We go for here, the collision occurs. Then we go for the double hash. Then here hash of 89 plus 1, H2 of 89 modulus 10. Then what is the value? It is a 9, the value becomes 9 plus 1 multiplied with 7 minus 89 modulus 7. Then what is the value we got over here? 2, 9 plus 2, 11, the 11 modulus 10. What is the index has been generated by the double hashing functions? Then one at index one there is no it is free index one is free that's why we can able to store eighty nine over here. Okay. Then if it is also collision occurs then at that time I will becomes what happens two like that we can able to find free empty slot in the hash table by using the double hash function. It is very very efficient algorithm to compare with uh, what is called linear probing or quadratic probing. Got my point? Okay, if you have any doubt regarding 
this double hashing please contact me through comment box window thank you thank you all for watching my videos